Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the new update from Google which everyone is talking about and that is AI overviews. So uh, two days back Google uh, announced that they are officially rolling out the search generative experience and uh, it's going to be um, rolling out starting in the US and then globally but I want to tell you what exactly it is and how it works and especially in terms of small businesses, medium scale business, enterprise brands who are focusing on SEO which is search engine optimization, how is that going to impact your brand? So let's get started. I'm going to go straight into things. I'm going to first start with an example of what exactly is AI overviews. Now, basically what I have done is I am in Google over here, you know, standard, you know, google.com and I have typed over here how to improve your view to max, right? A simple search engine over here, a simple query, right? Now, as you can see, as soon as I search, typically in the past, you will notice that we will go straight into uh, you know, the 10 blue links, right? Uh, you know, Runners World, Healthline, these are all like reputed websites that talk about tips and strategies on how to improve your workout and VO2 max, right? VO2 max is basically a metrics. So ignore the, the term itself, but essentially it's a informational query. So in the past, you will get to see these 10 blue links and you will click on it and you will get more information. But after the launch of AI overviews, you will get to see something like this. Look at this. Google is actually compiling the information from the top ranking website. In this case, it's Runner's World. It's uh, understanding the query, the information from the website. It's then giving you a summary. It's like you going to ChatGPT, pasting in um, long form content or uploading a PDF and then asking it to summarize it. That's exactly what Google is doing over here. Now, not just that, uh, it's also making it easier from a user standpoint to consume that information in a short, you know, list of summary and bullet points. But it's also giving you links to websites within the AR overview. So as you can see, you can click on it and it will take you to the respective website, right? Um, and uh, obviously, you know, it has links to multiple reputed websites. But if you notice, most of them are coming from um, the 10 blue links over here. You know, I'm pretty sure uh, it's trying to figure out a mix and match. Now over here, you can see the number one linking website within the AI overview is RunKeeper. But then um, the number one organic link is uh, Runner's World. So again, there's a difference between you know, what Google is giving an AI overview versus what's ranking organically. My point is, this is going to massively impact every single brand out there. Can you imagine you writing like a 2000 word, high quality, well-researched content, and then Google just simply learning that, um, you know, learning from your blog and then giving a summary right in the search engine results page. That's definitely a challenge, right? So in terms of the impact and how it's going to, you know, pan out, it's definitely going to impact the click-through rate. You know, there's going to be decline uh, in um, the number of clicks, at least uh, from the users who are quick and who wants information immediately, who are on the go, who are, uh, you know, at a very, very high level in their user journey. Now, think about this, you know, I'm, I'm going to, um, ask another query over here, you know, how to improve domain authority. Now for everyone in the SEO world, uh, you know, DA is basically a metric, you know, I don't know how serious you need to take about it, but anyways, how do you improve dom domain authority is a, is a query over here. And, uh, this one is different because there is a lot of people, it seems like a combination of, uh, you know, uh, hosting websites to obviously SEO tool like SEMrush is uh, running ad on this um, keyword. So over here, the AI overview has uh, shifted down a bit. <clears throat> Obviously, Google wants revenue, so it's uh, showing you sponsored links, one, two, three, and four. And then if you are lucky, uh, you will be featured in the AI overview section. And if you are still lucky, 
you will then scroll all the way down and then finally click on your organic uh, you know search engine result that's insane if you you know go back in time and if you um, before AI overviews and if you search for something like this you will just simply get like maybe like three sponsored links and then organic listing but now you have like four ads and then this lengthy piece of text a user needs to really scroll past this and then finally you know click on this website uh, and hopefully they will generate a lead from that blog and hopefully a marketing qualified lead and uh, a customer i don't think that's going to be easier going forward so that's one example the other example i have is again what is backlinks and seo same situation over here for sponsored ads literally taking my entire you know, top of the uh, page um, section over here. Um, then I have to go through, oh, Jesus, look at this. This is even more crazy. You Okay, four sponsored links, AI overview, and this, I, I would still say this is structured snippet or featured snippet. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is ads, AI overview, and uh, and then you have feature snippet. People also ask, and then you get into your 10 blue links. So I, I think this is insane, to be honest. Um, blogs and websites focusing on informational content is going to have a hard time, but I'm gonna get into some tactics and strategies on how you can actually improve your, um, you know, strategy for combating this uh, AI overviews. So anyways, um, those are some examples. Uh, one last example, what is SEO? And again, um, it's similar to this example over here. Um, and again, th there's only one link over here in terms of where uh, this additional uh, link is coming from. It's from SEMrush and that too, it's published in December, 2022. So again, there are some opportunities over here and um, you can even see how it's pulling or compiling that summary. So this particular extract or summary is coming from this block from SEMrush. Um, the next section is coming from HubSpot, which is a latest article. And then the third section is coming from Google themselves, which is Google for developers. And then the final section is coming from search engine land. So as you can see, uh, there are multiple ways in which this is evolving and uh, you know, I think uh, we, it's gonna be interesting on how things are going to move forward from here. Anyways, quick tips and strategies on how you can improve. Obviously from this example, you can see that if you are someone who is health conscious and in this query, if you really wanna like improve your running or something like that, um, this five bullet points is definitely not enough, right? So you will most probably going to click on the actual website from where the information is coming from, and then you will be reading all about it. So that's one example where AI overview is definitely not uh, winning, right? The second one is, look at this one. It, this one is pretty in depth and unfortunately it's gated. So I'm gonna freaking, this shouldn't rank actually. That's another good example of why AI overview is good. <laughs> Anyways, if I move on, um, this one is a good example, long form content uh, with lots of internal links and ads, which is not a great experience. Okay, I think uh, maybe this one would be a good example, let's see. Yeah, I would say still, you know, not that great, but my point is, um, websites and blogs that write in depth with a lot of mixture of multimedia content. Say for example, you have an embedded video or you have an infographic on 10 ways you can do this or do that. Um, you have a podcast embedded in it. You have, um, you know, almost like a flow diagram. There are certain tools like calculators, um, widgets. Um, there are some interactions uh, going on maybe even a survey or a quiz, lots of statistics and research. I think those are some mix in which you can 
really improve the quality of your content because I don't think Google is at a point where it's going to, uh, you know, understand and transcribe the video in real time, transcribe the, um, the podcast and then generate an, um, an AI generated, you know, audio or video. I don't think we are that advanced enough. So I, my point is whenever you have a piece of content that you want to write about, do not focus on, you know, thin content because you saw how Google is actually picking on the most authoritative websites that are already ranking for that piece of term, compiling it, summarizing it and giving the answer. So you're going to lose traffic if you are going to focus on thin content. Make sure that your content is well researched, it's long form and include a lot of multimedia content. I think that's a great way to go about it. And the other aspect is, um, you know, uh, in, in internal links, trying to, um, you know, create content that answers questions from top of the funnel to bottom of the funnel, um, adding FAQ section within your content uh, and answering as many, you know, queries as possible as a part of your content will also help you to rank in your AI overviews, just like how these websites are doing. So there's a, an opportunity, you know, you don't always have to focus on the 10 blue links, right? Uh, the top 10 links are there, it's always going to be there, but the dynamics have changed, you now have a new opportunity. If you go back in time, maybe one or two years back, uh, the uh, featured snippet was an opportunity. Then there was an opportunity about FAQ section or people also ask, right? Now you have a third opportunity. So you, I already spoke about feature snippet. Then you had the opportunity for people also ask, and now you have this brand new opportunity about AI overviews. So finally, I wanna you know conclude by saying that maybe take a pause and have a look at different types of you know output from AI overviews to truly understand how Google is trying to come up with these. Uh, you know, responses. Now, in this case, it was a summary with bullet points, right? So uh, you can say that it's the, for for maybe an informational type query, you gotta get straight uh, to the answer with maybe almost like you can summarize your blog at the bottom uh, and maybe AI overview will pick that summary to make its life easier, right? That's one way. The second way is, um, you know, in, in this case, which is, a very, very high level query like SEO with, with massive competition. Google is actually uh, structuring your content or AI overview in such a way that uh, it has, you know, an intro, it has sections such as, um, you know, steps to improve SEO, and then maybe another section about how, how to improve or some tips to improve SEO as well. So it's breaking down the response in multiple sections. So that's another way of how you can structure your answer by going um, full-fledged from top of the funnel to bottom of the funnel. So again, there are a lot of opportunities out there. Uh, I would say this is a brand new opportunity and I think brands who can capitalize on this, who can change their SEO game and uh, really understand how AI overview works, I think they are the ones who are going to win. Having said that, if you have uh, any questions or comments or strategies or tips to share, let me know in the comment section. Uh, please do like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.